Tesla FSD beta group is doubling and Elon Musk is asking for invitations and if you want to be included all you have to do is to ask. Welcome back dear friends this is Armin Haryan from torquenews.com if you are here first time please subscribe to our channel give us thumbs up if this information is informative and let's get started. Last night Tesla CEO Elon Musk indicated that the test group for the automakers FSD beta test group would double and all you have to do to be included is to simply ask the CEO uh, or a Tesla associate. Here's a quote. If you want the Tesla full self-driving beta downloaded to your car, let us know, Musk wrote on Twitter. Doubling beta program size now with 8.2 is probably 10 times size with 8.3. Still be careful, but it's getting mature. If you remember several weeks ago, Elon Musk mentioned that the Tesla's full self-driving beta would be more robust, but that it would take some time to complete. Now, Musk says it's more mature. Ultimately, Musk came through on his promise as the CEO said on February 24th that a more complete version of the beta would be released as neural networks would be upgraded to surround video. We have a coverage on that. You can check out on our website. On February 24th, he was responding to Tesla owners of Silicon Valley Twitter account holder questions saying who asked uh, about the next update. This is what precisely Elon Musk then wrote. We're upgrading all NNs to surround video using subnets on focal areas versus equal compute on all um, uncropped pixels and many other things. So more time needed to write and validate software. Maybe something next week. This is evolving onto solving a big part of physical world AI. Something next week from 24, it's now March 5 or March 6. So about, ton, about the same thing, 10 days. Tesla's full self-driving beta group was initially rolled out in October 2020. It was rolled out only a small group of Tesla owners who had good track record of safe driving. But the demand to test the test drive, the full self-driving was very high. It expanded on the orders of Elon Musk and other executives after the quarter for 2020 earnings call. But now the test group is growing by two times, giving Tesla more data to learn from it, its um, attempts to expand the full self-driving test group. Many owners have requested the future, but until now it has been locked down to a select group of Tesla enthusiasts. While the future has, be future has become more accurate in its predictions um, within its short span of being rolled out, Tesla owners have undoubtedly experienced significant improvement within the semi-autonomous driving platform, which Tesla plans to roll out in level five stages by the end of 2024, uh, 2021. Right now, only Honda Legend has certified level three. So uh, I'm ex uh, extremely confident of achieving full autonomy and releasing it to the Tesla customers base next week. But I think at least some just, uh, just jurisdictions are going to allow full self-driving next year, Elon Musk said while accepting the Axel Springer Award in Germany in 2020. There is a very nice interview on that online. So friends, Tesla's full self-driving beta group will expand, but by how much we don't know yet. I'm sure Tesla will decide it and we may not even know unless Tesla CEO Elon Musk chooses to reveal the scope of the full self-driving expansion. But here is what we know from Elon Musk's tweets about um, tweet about the Tesla full self-driving expansion. Last we heard on Tesla's quarter conference call for shareholders at the end of January, Elon said that nearly 1,000 Tesla owners had the full self-driving beta activated on their cars. If that hasn't changed much since then, the simple math is that 10 times more than 1,000 is 10,000 because in his tweet he said 10 times. So we should expect that about 10 times 10,000 people or if it has changed maybe 25 or sometimes. Zachary Shahan from Clean Technica writes, one tricky thing about this stage of autonomous vehicle development is that 
counterintuitively, it can come with more risks than earlier phase. Why? When your car is too good at driving itself but not yet perfect, it's practically impossible to pay attention to the road for the rare instances when it needs you to take over. This is a very smart point. He continues saying, in fact, NASA discovered years ago that even top tire en engineers could not stay focused on monitoring something if there wasn't anything to do. With this in mind, Elon has repeatedly emphasized that Tesla owners who get the full self-driving beta update need to be extra, extra careful. And I fully support this, friend. Now, he also, Zachary Shaham from Green Technica, also says that the full self-driving beta suite can take people from their homes to their favorite stores, workplaces, tennis courts, or Disney World or church, potentially even without a single intervention on the part of the driver for the whole trip. It is not yet perfect, not yet ready for you to go to sleep or watch a movie while the car is driving itself, but it is getting closer and closer every week with every update. As you can see in Elon's tweet about Tesla implement about uh, Tesla implemented about 1,000 improvements going from version 8.2 to version 8.3 of full self-driving beta. I'm certainly extremely interested in seeing what it can handle in my area, says Zachary Shahan. Hopefully, we get into the beta on this round of additions. So. Auto Week, on the other hand, writes that just how many beta tests of full self-driving we're likely to see until the company declares autonomy solved remains to be seen. So Auto Week also questions the number. The next version of full self-driving will be no, by no means um, uh, complete self will um, will be no means will by no means be complete self-driving. Neither will it be available to everyone with a Tesla. If we follow Musk's comments. It's also prudent to note that the current version of full self-driving still requires drivers to keep their hands on the steering wheel and be ready to take over control of the car at all times. So there are some asterisks to just how self-driving the system is. Please keep in mind that the full self-driving is not a level 5 system and should not be treated by current or future users as such. In fact, it is still considered level two by many in the industry, just like the company's autopilot driver assist system requiring adult driver supervision um, at all times. The only car that so far we have as uh, certified as level three is Honda's Legend, which Honda just unveiled yesterday and uh, in Japan, and it's going. It's a hybrid vehicle. It's level three certified in Japan. This is why it's the world's number one level three certified vehicle. This doesn't mean that Honda Legend is a better self-driving car than uh, Tesla self-driving software, but it's just certified as level uh, three, whereas Tesla software is officially uh, viewed by many people in the industry as level two, although it may be better and do more self-driving than uh, Honda Legend. Um, well, friends, let me know what you think about these developments. Uh, do you want to be, if you are a self, uh, Tesla owner, do you want to be in the next uh, uh, batch of self-driving um, beta users? Are you going to apply? Have you applied and maybe accepted in the program? Are you a current beta user? If yes, what is your experience? What do you see improved? Um, let me know in the comment section below. In the meantime, if you like this video as an informative video, please give us thumbs up, like this video. It helps us like a lot. And if you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel, join our discussions, see how good our discussions are, very informative, and there is nice content there. Uh, and this is Armen Harayan from torquenews.com. Please subscribe to our channel. I'll see you in our next report. God bless you, everyone. Have a great day and peace be with all of you. See you soon in my next report.